So, the way to overcome this is to be very careful about data splitting. And excuse me while I wax lyrical, uh, sometimes my friends uh, tease me that if I, if I had to have four words written on my tombstone, they would be, split your damn data. I think this is pretty much the best idea in science, data science, and so forth. Data splitting is the reason we can have machine learning. When you have no data, you have at best an opinion and there's no way to test the opinion. One data set, and you can either use it to form an opinion, but who knows if that opinion holds any water, or you can form an opinion in advance of the data set carefully by meditating in a closet and it's really hard and you have to use your imagination, but you can check if that opinion is nonsense. Two data sets, you can now use one of them to get inspired, and another one to check if your opinion is nonsense. But your second data set has only one round of ammunition. It's a one-shot thing. So if you got inspired by some nonsense, yeah, you can find out that it was nonsense, but you go home empty-handed. So you're protected from going and spouting nonsense all over the place, but you don't get the thing you wanted. So then it makes you very careful about whom you trust to do the exploration and analytics data mining stuff to suggest the thing that's worth following up rigorously. And you sure aren't gonna trust that to some dumb algorithm, are you? Three data sets. Well, with a third data set, you have a soft interim check, and now it doesn't matter who can have a go at getting inspired, because you can filter out all the clearly bad ones in the interim check. So now you can let, I don't know, you have a go, machine learning has a go, tea leaves have a go, what have you. And you can take all those opinions and you can check them on the next data set and you can throw all the ones that are obviously not worth going for. Or if all of them suck, you can go back and iterate on this as many times as you want and then have your final one. Uh, final test at the end. And so it is three data sets that unlocks the whole thing, the whole ability to do machine learning properly. And today the modern way is four data sets, and we'll talk about what the fourth one is later. Most people still say three. Humanity's evolving to four, now that we have lots of data. Anyway, so let's split our damn data. So our original data set, we're going to split into two pieces, as I mentioned, for exploration and testing refining and designing solutions, and checking whether those solutions should or should not be built. Then, the exploratory data, we will split another two ways into a training piece and a validation piece. In-class examples, practice problems. This allows us to build models. This allows us to check how we're doing and have do-overs if we want to. So, the reward for this is letting you tinker as much as you like. You don't even have to understand what you're doing. Just try stuff. Out come some recipes, put them in here. If you don't like what's happening, go back there. Back and forth, back and forth as many times as you like. And when you think you've got the one, moment of truth, test it and see if it actually is legit. And as a, a trained statistician, a lot of that, and undergrad and grad, by the way, so a lot of years in this mindset, the, the world of a statistician is very dark. We're so twitchy, we're so nervous, because we are dealing with those situations where there's no do-over, and then it really matters how we have said we think our universe works. We curate the assumptions. Very careful. With this stuff, all we're asking is, does it work? And so it actually doesn't even matter if the assumptions do or don't hold, if we know what they are, if we don't, if we check them. As far as building this stuff, run the data through it, don't worry about what the underlying method is, because if it doesn't work, and if those assumptions were all screwy, you find out immediately, and then you go back and try something else. So you don't have to be anxious anymore. Be free, my friends. Realize just how freeing this is. You wanted to go and math through the assumptions? Why? Just have fun, just tinker, dabble, play. It's a great time to be alive. <laughs>